guys, Mrs. V back in the lab and today we are going to do an experiment about expansion. It's called the ball and ring experiment. You might be able to look that up and you might be able to find some other videos of this. So I have my ball on a stick and my ring on a stick. And this is really important to have them on a stick because I'm going to stick this ball into the Bunsen burner flame. I know. Don't you wish you were doing this? You wouldn't be doing this anyhow, I'd be demonstrating, it's too dangerous. And we don't, don't allow year eights to run around the room with hot metal. Okay, let's light this Bunsen burner. So light my match. We're on safety flame. But if we want to heat something, we have to have the blue flame. First I've got to show you, look. like magic. It all goes through the ring. But what is going to happen to the metal when I heat this ball up in the gas burner flame? Let's have a look. So I'm going to stick it just at the tip of the blue flame there. I'm just going to spin it around, get it nice and hot. Bunsen burner flames are very hot, about 800 degrees Celsius. So you do not want to be sticking your hand into it. Alright, let's see if that's long enough. <gasps> I promise I'm trying and I go to the gym, although not at the moment because the gyms are closed. But I cannot get that ball through that ring anymore. So by heating it up, the ball has actually become a bit bigger because of course it's expanded and you've been learning about how it, things expand when they're heated. I can't get it. Oh, won't go. Can you turn the Bunsen off now? And this is the good bit. You ready for this? Oh, how is that? I know. I wish you were doing this experiment too. So by running water over it, I'm cooling it down again. And of course we know that the opposite of expansion is contraction. So if heating makes stuff expand, then cooling makes it contract. Can you think of an example where getting something colder can make it expand? I'll tell you the answer at the end. Okay, let's see if we've cooled it down enough. And, ho oh, ho, look at that. It goes through again. Fantastic. Did you get the answer to the question? Can you think of something that gets bigger when you cool it down? If not, I want you to try this. I want you to put some water in a plastic cup and I want you to use a Sharpie to mark the water level. Now I want you to put that in the freezer overnight and see what happens. I'll see you in the next video.